Can you tell us about that interception and how you were able to bounce back from that? That was a bad throw, bad decision. I held my eyes for a second trying to get an inbreaker on some leverage and uh, can't make that throw, but it was almost like once I threw it, I settled in. So I uh, learned from that, uh, watch the film, and then move on. Maria? John, overall, what was the whole experience like for you? Was it, did it move quickly? What was the game like? I had a lot of fun, to be honest. You know, a little anxious going in, if I'm being 100% honest. And once I got rolling, I was just playing football again. And uh, it was it was fun that we got the win. There's obviously a ton of room for improvement. Um, missed a few throws, got to convert in the red zone. But uh, but overall, I'm just happy we got the win. We're in the playoffs and moving on to the next game. Rashawn? Coach McVay just talked about it. It seemed like that third down run you had uh, after the interception, you picked up the first down there. It seemed like that kind of got you settled in, got you going. How did that kind of impact the way you were able to see the rest of the game? Yeah, um, once I came out after that pick, I, I felt good. You know, I told him on the side, hey, I'm good. Don't worry about me. And uh, we had that, you know, I had that throw to, to Van, uh, missed him by a foot, but I, I was seeing the, the field better and then converted that first down. They were in two man, didn't have anyone for me and uh, just got in a rhythm. And, and we were just moving the ball, I think, efficiently throughout the day. Um, obviously, got to, con- again, I keep saying this, convert in the red zone, but. I felt good out there. I felt comfortable. I didn't feel overwhelmed. Seemed like some, um, some empty, a lot of empty backfields. What did you guys see during the week, and, and and how was that so prevalent? You know, being able to incorporate into the game plan today. I, I I enjoy being an empty. I like being able to see the field, how how bodies disperse. Um, so that was something we felt like was an advantage for us, and uh, so we activated a, a good amount today, and, and it worked out well. Jordan then Gary. Hey John. Um... What family was watching you today and what were the conversations like leading up to this game? Obviously, my parents, my aunt and uncle, who I'm extremely close with, my brother, my sister. I mean, I think everyone in my family, I'm the second, third youngest of 18 cousins. And uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone was tuned in. So I had texts during the week. I got to respond to my texts. I have like 350 texts that, are, that I haven't responded to. So do that on the then, right home. Sorry. And then um, you mentioned settling in. When you make plays with your feet in the way you did and especially maybe on a couple of designed plays in that regard does that help you settle in do you get into a rhythm that way yeah I think getting hit is a good thing sometimes to get you settled into a game um and so when I activated those runs got a first down there on that third down just felt good so um it's something where where I have the athleticism to do it and if it helps us win I'm going to do it we'll go to Kevin John um do you have any expectation about what happens next week whether Jared comes back or, I mean, would it be disappointing if you wound up back on the sideline? No, I mean, I'm, I'm here to do a job and uh, I have no idea where he's at. Um, I'm just trying to enjoy this win. Um, and then I'll put my head down and work on, C- I think it's, we, we have Seattle, Seattle uh, starting tomorrow, but no info on that. And what was the moment like when you guys knew You'd either, you know, you'd won or you had the game put away and you're in the playoffs. Was the celebration or the congratulations any different today than it would for any, it would be for any other game? Well, I've never won a game, so I don't know what the normal <laughs> congratulations feels like. So that's my first one. And I'll use that as a barometer and let you know if it changes. We'll go Bill, then Lindsay. Yeah, going back to that moment after you th- threw the interception, you're on the sidelines telling your teammates you were good. What made you say that? You were just throwing a pick in your first. NFL pass, what made you, what gave you that composure to say you were good? I just knew that I prepared well. I felt good um, throwing the ball. The ball was spinning out of my hand. And, you know, it almost like settled me in in a weird way. I remember when I was in high school, we were playing a, a good team. And I threw a pick the first play of the game and then came back and played great. So I was kind of thinking about that. Um, and, you know, that's football. There is ups and downs. You're going to make bad decisions. Jared always says this thing to me. It's, you know, he says pace. It's performance after a critical error. And you just kind of reset yourself and move on to the next play because you can't change what just happened. Can you tell how much your teammates rallied around you today? Could you feel that from them? Absolutely, yeah. I think the defense played unbelievable. We got a block on special teams. Um, guys were fired up. We, we had energy throughout the entire game. So I'm grateful for all the guys that stepped up and made plays. Um, it was a team win across the board, and uh, I'm just—I just love this organization. I'm happy they have given me a shot. 
Lindsay? John, this is a super important question here, but have you decided if you're going to delete that LinkedIn account since you got that first MFL win? <laughs> you know, I, I said that almost as a joke. You know, if I'm being smart, the reality is football ends at some point. Hopefully it's in 20 years. So I'll probably keep it active. I want to know with it active, so we'll just keep it up. Michael? Yeah, John, two questions. You mentioned the uh, red zone inefficiency, I guess, in this game. Regardless of who's behind center next week, how do you fix that? And then second question, I think you completed over three 20-plus yard completions this game, which is something the team hasn't done in, in many weeks. What were what was working to able to see your vision and your guys on deep passes like that? To the, your first question, red zone efficiency, we got to go back to work. Um, we can't have penalties that, you know, we're on, I think it was second and one on the one. And then we take two penalties to go to second and 11. When you get in that 10, 11 yard range, it's hard because the field condenses. And then, you know, it's like, all right, do you run it on first down? And then it's, you know, second and eight. So um, I have to be better down there. I, I had a misread there. I threw one out of the back of the end zone where I had Gerald uh, when they were in cover zero. And then um, there were some things that I could have done better to, to make us more efficient. So you go back, you watch the film, you learn from it, and you, you move on. Um, what was your second question? I'm sorry. Uh, there are three completions of over 20 yards. What was able to get used to the deep passes in this game? Yeah, I, uh, there were a few times where their corners were a little jumpy on some outbreakers, trying to make some plays off my eyes. Um, and I had a pretty good feel for it and I saw him trigger, um, and both times we were able to hit, you know, Higgs on one and then Cam on the other down the sideline. A few throws I wish I had back, um, but all in all, we got the win and I'm happy for that. The last couple for John. So we've got Jim Alexander and then we'll try one more time with Gary. Yeah, John, I'm even beyond what happens next week, whether you start again or whether Jared starts again, what does this do for your confidence going forward? The, the you know, you were in. In a, a regular season NFL game with a lot on the line, you got through it, you won. What does that do for you going forward? I think it's uh, I, it definitely helps with the anxiety before the game. I just feel like, you know, you always go like, I can play, I can play, I can play. But until you do it, there's a little bit of apprehension if you're being, you know, if I'm being candid. And uh, I felt great out there, started making plays, and, and um, it's one game. Um, but it just, I know the next time I play, I'll have half the amount of nerves and, um, and I'm grateful for that, to be honest.